Hello and welcome to Tits Out Tuesday. I mean, I can't literally let my tits out, even though this entire thing is about free the nipple. So here we go. <laughs> um, as you know, last week I got censored for having my nip slip. Ooh, I almost had a happening there. <laughs> slip out of my shirt, even though, you know, there are millions and millions of boobs all over the tube, but that's okay. Whatever. Maybe there was another reason, like I was talking about um, being a thicker woman. Uh, um, maybe they just don't like thick women. Maybe that's what it was, because it was like, one, I mean, I don't, anyway, I'm not going to hold on to that too long. I'm going to talk about how a modeling agency reached out to me. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> about how they're doing this pro-feminist documentary about like the free the nipple movement and body positivity and all of this stuff. And it was funny because they started out by telling me how they would hire models for um, like Playboy and Maxim and all the stuff. And then at the very end of it, they asked me for like my height and my age and my measurements. And it's just like, okay, two major things here. You're doing a pro-feminist documentary and you're starting it off by telling me that you hire models for Playboy and Maxim, etc. And then at the very end, after you talk about how great this documentary about body positivity and freeing the nipples is going to be, then you ask for my fucking measurements? Like, I'm not a fucking model. What do you need my measurements for? You're gonna make me some clothes? I, I mean, like, I don't need a bra. Because I'm free in the nipple. Oops, forgot to turn that off. Sorry. Anyway, um, I mean, I was flattered to be considered, to be honest. I wouldn't, I mean, I would love to be in a documentary about body positivity. I just don't know if that's the like right course of action for me if they're really actually using body positivity as a way to uh, basically objectify women more. Just more of us. <laughs> now it's no longer just the like very specific body type. Now it's every body type can be objectified. Cool. Awesome. I'm so excited. Go feminism. Yay! Um, yeah, so if it's that, I don't really want to be involved. If it's actually, you know, doing something good for the world, let's do it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with, like, fucking, like, sexy boobs. But, like, <laughs> you got to make up your mind if you're doing something about sexy boobs or if you're doing something about body positivity and feminism. Because um, they could probably go together somehow. But, like, got to be really smart about that one. Anyway, I'm rambling. Happy Tits Out Tuesday. Um, let's just be careful about this whole free the nipple body positivity thing, I guess. Like, it's great. And I'm sure a lot of you are, like, really happy that you're seeing more women body types that you can masturbate to. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm still wrapping my head around it, so we can have a discussion. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just cynical. 
maybe I just don't like it when companies use Playboy and feminism together. Um, I need like more information. Elaborate, please. I know that they're not saying that their company, like they're hiring for their, whatever, it doesn't matter. You don't care. Ah, you just want to see my boobs. <laughs> Well, maybe if you become my patron, I'll show you my boobs. How about that? That's right. Go eat a carrot. Patreon. There's a link below. You can do it there. And there might be some artistic nudity that appears if you follow me. Actually, right after this, I'll probably just lift up my shirt and put that video on for my patrons. Because I'm just so nice to people that help me out. All right. Um, go eat a carrot. Mom, mom, mom.